I just got a Lightning OTG USB-A cable adapter for my iPad. I did that mainly to hook up a Ethernet internet using this USB hookup. But uh, while I was at it, I, I had a chance to have a keyboard around and mouse. And I just wanted to show that you can actually use a this OTG cable with a USB hub. I'm going to hook this up first. Plug this in here. Once you plug it in, it lights up. And then you can start plugging in uh, a few peripheral devices. I'm using this Apple mouse over here. I just plugged it in and on the bottom over here you can see it's lit up so it's working. I just pressed it once and you can see the cursor is there. <clears throat> if you want to use a keyboard or mouse, one caveat is you need to use iOS 13 or newer. So that means you need like an iPad Air 2 or newer or iPad 6 or newer uh, or an iPad Pro. Uh, I'm pretty sure most iPad Pros will work with the keyboard and mouse. So let me finally hook up the keyboard, which I'm gonna to add to this hub. And I know most people wouldn't use a USB uh, hub, a USB keyboard and mouse. You could just use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. That's much more uh, aesthetic as well as easier to carry around. But I, I just wanted to try this because I got this uh, Lightning OTG USB A uh, adapter and I wanna try it. So now if I press the spacebar button, which I'm going to do right now, it turns that on and I can press space again, unlock, use the mouse to, let's say, uh, surf the internet. So I'm using the mouse right now, moving it around. And I'm going to surf the internet. So when I click on here, and I can type 1234, 1234, you can see the keyboard works perfectly fine. And again, I was showing you the mouse, I can move it around. So it's pretty nice. Uh, all you need is a simple USB hub. If you have a powered USB hub, that's great. And I'm pretty sure that'll make things run easier because you know there's some keyboards and mice that use a lot of electricity and it may, may, might cause issues with using a USB uh, hub like this. So anyways, just wanted to show, again, you need to run at least uh, iPad Air 2 or newer, iPad 6 or newer, or like an iPad Pro, and it should work with the keyboard and mouse. So, hooked up to a hub, hooked up to a USB-A OTG cable, and you're good to go.